Good day everybody and uh, welcome back to DX Explorer for one more video. Uh, very quick before jumping on uh, what I'm actually going to do in, the, in today's video. Um, doing the, uh, showing the way I'm making the PCB boards because it's a, it's a video request, uh, this video. I, um, I've had a couple of subscribers for a long time asking uh, to see how exactly I'm making my PCBs from the beginning to the end. So I'm going to show both the versions, um, <coughs> the, um, the toner transfer method and also the one that I'm traditional one when I'm just uh, simply drawing with a marker and uh, I'm gonna show you <coughs> everything uh, step by step. Uh, even though I think there are many videos on uh, on YouTube about it, but well, since uh, people are requesting it, I'm just going to show it anyway. Uh, but I just wanted to talk uh, very quick, very quick uh, about uh, the month of August. As you all know, um, I'm uh, busy at the pigeons' place right now, and uh, very soon we're going to start the trainings for the pigeons and also the competitions so the month of august uh, it will be actually full of um, the competitions so probably i will not have any more time to to record any videos um, if i do i'm going to continue to record and post them on, the, on youtube but i just wanted to let everybody know that it's possible that for the month of august i will not post anything uh, because i'll be very busy over there <clears throat> doing a lot of stuff and uh, taking care of the technical side as well so uh, yeah that's that's all I wanted to say let's let's call it some sort of vacation uh, even though I'm actually working but <laughs> a vacation from YouTube actually um, but yeah if if I do have the time to, to do any projects and uh, work on something I will probably do it and I'll film something uh, probably I will take my time because I'm gonna be there with my laptop all day long uh, waiting for the pigeons to return uh, probably I'm gonna start working on the website finally because I just didn't have any time at all and this way I can work on the schematics and the PCB designs and everything and write articles about all the projects that I posted on YouTube uh, until now so anyway uh, let's go in the house and uh, start working on the PCB boards and uh, show you how I'm making them all right so we are back on the table and uh, let's talk about the way i'm building my pcb boards uh, basically there are two methods it's either toner transfer like everybody knows how to do the toner transfer but i'm going to show you anyway uh, what i'm using i'm not using uh, glossy paper i'm not using magazine paper i tried that it didn't go well so, uh, so well for me so i decided to buy this uh, this foil it's meant for um, uh, toner transfer using heat and the heat transfer it's specially designed for for pcbs i don't know maybe you can find it online <coughs> um, i really like it i would put a link down below but i got it, i get it from a store here in romania so maybe you might not find the same product uh, <laughs> um, where you are so anyway uh, I think magazine paper would do as well but I was not very patient and usually I'm just messing up the drawing and I wasn't sure how I, I was not preparing the, the PCB uh, very well either in advance so I'll try that but because I don't have a, a laser printer I'm using this one because I'm going to a, a man who has a print shop so he does it for me and probably he will act strange if I will go with all sorts of uh, <laughs> paper and magazine paper to print me on that so yeah. This one it's for the PTT code that I built last week and uh, I decided to change the, de the design so I can use a, a BD-139 transistor so I can use a heatsink. So I'll do that in just a little bit. Then the second method which I do mostly uh, for myself for testing purposes uh, before uh, doing the final design like that. Basically I take a piece of P uh, PCB I take a piece of paper and the schematic, for example, the PTTCO, I put it in front of me. I place the paper on a piece of uh, foam or something, which I don't have right now, but uh, I think you get the idea. And then I start placing the parts on the paper according to the schematic and then start drawing traces between them, of course, also uh, according to the schematic. 
and then I'm double checking and I'm triple checking to make sure that the traces are okay and uh, once I'm done I put it on a piece of glass with light underneath I turn it around and I start drawing the same thing on the back side as I have on the other side so I have a mirrored image of what I already draw here now this one I take this image I place it on a on a PCB board uh, I'm not gonna do this now because I only have one piece of PCB left and uh, I will need it but uh, you'll understand what I'm saying the process uh, I put it here then I take a needle uh, actually I, I, I fix I'm fixing the paper with a piece of tape uh, to the PCB so it doesn't move then I take a needle and a little hammer and I'm hammering uh, to make uh, little points, little dots <coughs> on the PCB um, for each place where I have a hole or a connection for, for any of the parts. I'm doing that and what I end up with it's a PCB board that looks like this with a bunch of points but now the good part is that you have the choice of placing the, the design in front of you then you take a simple permanent marker just like this one and then you according to that you already have the points here and here you just have to draw the all the lines same as you did in here basically you're replicating the same schematic on the PCB using the points as a reference of where you start and when you end with your line and basically that's how I'm doing all this I think you can see that in uh, some of my older videos uh, and once I'm done with that, I'm covering the entire board with black, of course, leaving the proper distance between the traces and the ground plane. And uh, of course, I end up with something like this. As I, this is for the uh, how it's called, <clears throat> the Michigan Mighty Might. You end up with a ground plane like this. <clears throat> the traces are made, and uh, yeah, that's basically the the entire process. And then all you do, you take it to the chemical bath and uh, and you're done so anyway right now I'm gonna leave this method because this is the traditional one this is the old school my favorite one and this is the one that I'm using most of the time but for a final schematic for a final design that I'm going to keep for a very long time <laughs> I hope I'm using this one so I'm going to cut a piece of uh, PCB I'm going to cut a piece of one of these and uh, do the heat transfer for the ink and I'll show you the rest of the process after that all right so I've cut a piece of uh, PCB on the size that I need and uh, I've cleaned it up with a brush similar to this one it's like the kind of stuff that you use to uh, to wash pots and pans in the kitchen it's a steel uh, thingy and uh, I use a lot of soap and hot water and I clean the PCB very well now I don't know if this one will come out uh, perfect just because it has the little dots that I punched with the needle for the other, the other kind of uh, PCB board but we'll see so what I do now I'm placing a book with a hard cover and a piece of cardboard on top I'm placing a paper towel I put the PCB here, the drawing that uh, I've cut on the same size as the PCB is, trying to remove all the dust, <coughs> for some reason the dust loves the plastic foil, I'll place it on top, and what I do, I take another piece of paper towel and I place it on top, really slow and then I take a, a hot iron and I place it on top I press for a few seconds uh, just so um, the piece of plastic will uh, stick to the to the PCB board but I'm not pressing too hard just because I don't want to move the the foil on top of the PCB and then I continue the same now I press a little harder and I keep for a few more seconds uh, usually <laughs> I'm counting down and I count about 15-20 seconds then I move the iron and uh, 
just because it has the, the holes on the bottom for the steam and uh, I press a little more I count a little more maybe probably right now I'm not gonna count anything because I'm talking <laughs> but you get the idea uh, since I have uh, spare ones to, to try in case this one will uh, will come out bad I will redo it anyway so yeah I'm trying to press as hard as possible especially on the corners so the drawing will um, <coughs> will stick very well to the to the PCB and I believe this should be enough maybe just a little bit more by the way make sure there is no water in the iron in case it's the steam one uh, steam is the last thing that you need <laughs> in here okay and that's it so right now I'm removing the paper towel and this one will have to wait until it gets to a temperature like a room temperature and then I can remove the, the plastic foil alright so it's uh, already cooled down to a room temperature as you can tell I made a mistake and I've cut the PCB just a little smaller which is okay because uh, I'm gonna take a file and actually uh, get the, the edges even so it's going to be perfectly squared as I want it to so right now what I'm doing I'm trying to remove the plastic foil from the top very slowly and see if the drawing sticks properly to the board and you can tell already that it doesn't probably because of the points that I had so what I'm going to do now I'll have to redraw, uh, redraw uh, part of the part of the whole thing so what I'm doing now I take the marker and I'm gonna start to draw all the little pieces that are not covered by by the ink And this might take me a little longer so I'll just do it and then I'll show you <laughs> how it's everything at the end alright so as you can tell I already finished drawing all the corrections on the board it's not perfect but uh, for such a simple transceiver <laughs> the board is good enough so now what we're doing we're going to do uh, we're just going to corrugate the copper layer and uh, we'll do that in uh, just a second so let me put the chemicals on and see the other process okay so now I have this little plastic container ice cream <laughs> plastic container what can I do I love a lot of ice cream and I have this uh, ferrite uh, chloride that I'm using it's very old it's already expired for a long time but uh, it still works it still does a good job so I'm not wasting any materials I'm just going to use it until it doesn't do anything anymore so what I do I'm placing the board inside and I'm just putting the entire content of the bottle inside and I do nothing but wait <laughs> from time to time I'm coming and I'm just uh, moving the uh, the container a little bit every four or five minutes maybe uh, and then I just let it uh, do its job usually it takes me about uh, five minutes but with this uh, <laughs> this one just because it's uh, it's been used for quite a long time and it's also expired it takes me a little longer but it still does the job so I'll be back as soon as this one is done alright so uh, I'm checking the board and it seems that uh, it's all corroded what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna take it out go into the kitchen and uh, wash it with um, 
with a lot of soap and again with the same sort of uh, still I don't even know how you call this <laughs> but yeah I'm just gonna remove the toner and I'll be right back to show you the finished uh, board all right so uh, I'm back I just uh, finished washing and cleaning the toner from the PCB board uh, the PCB board is ready uh, all I have to do now is to drill the holes and uh, install the components uh, by the way about drilling the holes I know a lot of people are having troubles with uh, drilling the tiny holes well unfortunately I do not have uh, uh, small uh, drill bits as I'm supposed to have uh, I will try to order some 0.5 millimeters or 0.4 millimeters drill bits that I can use uh, to drill tiny holes and uh, the idea of having tiny holes it's for example if you ever build a pixie transceiver the holes for the components are absolutely way too big comparing to the the ends of the components and usually I don't like that it's uh, hard to solder the um, uh, the components properly and anyway uh, yeah this is it if you want and this is optional uh, probably I will not do it this time because it's such a simple transceiver I don't need the parts layout but uh, I've made it in case I want to make some boards as a present to somebody um, I'll, I will print this um, at some point on other boards but uh, using the same method that I did to transfer the the toner on this uh, side you'll do it on this side same thing with the iron and then you remove it slowly and uh, just be careful to uh, line up the <laughs> uh, the parts correctly uh, com uh, depending on uh, where you have them uh, how you have the components on the back side so it will fit properly and pretty much that's it for the holes I don't have small drill bits I'm only using this kind of stuff I don't know if the camera will focus let me see I guess not but yeah this is the kind of stuff that I use with with a Dremel tool uh, just because I don't have uh, small drill bits um, even though I wish I had but probably I will uh, just do it like this this time and I'll have to order a couple of uh, really really small uh, drill bits like 0 0.4 0 0.45 millimeters um, in diameter and this way I can uh, finally draw some dr <laughs> the, uh, drill some holes properly so anyway a short video for this week or maybe not that short but uh, not very complicated not nothing much to show but uh, it was a video request uh, for quite a long time and I have two more that I have to do and probably this is what I will do until the end of the month and then uh, take a little vacation and finish with the season uh, with the pigeons and then uh, come back at the end of August, uh, the beginning of September with new and exciting projects. So um, yeah, I guess now I, I can transfer all the components from, from the board that I built last week of the PTTCO and actually build the fi final version on uh, this PCB and probably I'll build an enclosure and uh, if you follow me on Instagram at DX Explorer I will actually post some photos of the of the finished uh, transceiver so what can I say I hope you enjoy it um, sorry <laughs> it's not much for this week um, so uh, I hope I'll see you next week until then, 73, and have a magical week.